Welcome to the Twilight Zone. This is Janos with Silver Audio, and uh, really I'm showing some Twilight Zone pictures. Like uh, this is my darling amplifier. As you can see, the tubes are glowing in the dark. The clats are also glowing in the dark. And why am I showing such scenery? There's something else going in the dark. This is what I've been listening to. Steve Roach, What Remains. And I've been streaming it from, guess what, YouTube. So you can type this up and you can try it out for yourself. It's really uh, a very wonderful ambient music. It will just really transport you to a different place. And in my case, it's my room with my cats in it but uh, and and as you see they they came up and joined me to listen to the music but why am i doing this video and why am i sharing this with you because uh, i had some questions about how the cube audio drivers are breaking up so you are curious to hear more what I've been experiencing about with them and um, I have experienced something very very interesting that I do believe uh, I have never ever heard mention on audio forums or by any of the reviewers yet I believe this fact that I'm going to share with you is of absolutely monumental proportions and uh, it's going to blow the gasket of many of uh, the audiophiles uh, uh, safety valves however here it is so I've, I've been experiencing this phenomenon that i'm going to share many many times and today i just confirmed it for the i don't know maybe like 10th or 20th time because uh, at first you would think maybe it's a fluke or maybe you've been imagining things or something but now that I've been consistently experiencing it now it's time to share this very strange phenomenon which actually is going to be fantastic news for many of you because it is about uh, the quality of the electricity, quality of the line AC that we have noticed, you have noticed that there are times in the day when your stereo just sounds wonderful and then it just starts to sound uh, crappy all of a sudden. Sometimes this, the change is uh, gradual and you, you notice it slowly, but sometimes it's very drastic, very momentous. And uh, today, just uh, a few minutes ago, I had this experience again of the line AC quality suddenly shifting and then it was literally from one second to the next and the change was not subtle, it was brutal, it was monumental. So what happened? I came up, Kintaro followed me here and we turned on the system, I turned on the amp, turned on the music and we started listening to music and uh, without any warm-up, just the amplifier dead cold, it already sounded gorgeous and beautiful music and I'm streaming from YouTube, actually we started uh, playing Moomin music which is kind of like really really goofy but uh, but it's really addictive because it's absolutely beautiful gorgeous minimalistic music and uh, and it sounded just perfect and then we were about 10 minutes into listening into and i i, I could hear the system warm up more and more and it became more and more magical dreamy really superb really fantastic and then from one second to the next, suddenly 
all the energy and power disappeared from the sound and the highs became became uh, much more emphasized than they were before uh, it's like uh, someone adding like a, a plus 8 db boost to the high frequencies from about a uh, kilohertz on and taking away uh, like 15 db from the bass like 200 hertz down it was really really monumental and drastic so so basically the tonality just completely changed from a, a balanced and full gorgeous sound to a shrill bodiless sound and it was not just that but also before that it was really beautiful music and uh, and even though I was streaming from YouTube, it did not matter. I could hear occasional coding errors in the music from the MP3 file, but it did not intrude at all on the experience. All of the sounds and all of the voices were absolutely beautiful and whole in the air, in the space. And after the change, it drastically shifted as well then uh, every in addition additional mp3 errors started creeping up and it just collapsed into a digital nightmare and into a, a low quality mp3 sound that we all uh, attribute to playing mp3 on a fine system however as I have experienced again and again, this experience is not the inherent quality to MP3. It is a quality that bad line AC conditions magnify a thousand times. And that's when your system has issues with the uh, electricity it's re receiving from the walls. That's when it becomes a problem. And when everything is fine, conditions are great, then it's not an issue at all and it really doesn't matter whether you are listening to a, a, a 100k mp3 or a high-res file it's going to be both a wonderful experience provided that the original music was recorded in high quality if the original music is in high quality it doesn't matter whether you hear a lowish resolution rowish coding mp3 or a flac version of it it's going to sound like beautiful music of course the higher resolution higher bitrate version is going to uh, uh, give you higher detail level yet the low resolution file should also give you beautiful three-dimensional analog like natural sound provided your gear is up to the task so now until now this experience this account uh, is nothing special because i have reported such happenings that uh, what line ac quality does to the sound others have reported similar events so you have heard it or so no surprise uh, you see Kintero isn't surprised either so what's the big earth shattering news what's the huge surprise is that uh, the the times when here in this system the it does it's not happy with the line AC it doesn't happen at the same time as my downstairs system is not happy this this is really really peculiar but it's it's not worthy so and i this is what i've been noticing and i've been consistently noticing now for weeks is that when here it sounds very good it's happy with the line ac then downstairs my system is not happy at all and when 
my system downstairs is happy with the line AC, here I have problems. And guess what? Downstairs we are watching uh, uh, Netflix, streaming uh, Stargate, and uh, until I came up here to listen to music, uh, we were listening to that, but the sound was really crappy today for Stargate. It sounded like almost as if the woofer was disconnected and I was listening only to the compression drivers. And uh, when I came up, and this sounded right away full and nice. And guess what? After I heard that here it shifted suddenly, so the the sound became uh, weak and anemic i went down and guess what there it has changed and the sound turned from anemic to full they traded places so so this is truly wonderful for those of you guys uh, who have a serious dedication to music because basically uh, different systems have different sensitivity to the line AC condition. And, uh, and it is possible to put together systems if you use different amplifiers, different sources, that they will respond differently to the line AC conditions. And the simple solution to your problems that that is the system doesn't sound good because of the line AC is just then stop listening to your system A when it sounds crap and go and change to system B and then it sounds good and you just can take turns and enjoy one or the other always sounding good because here's a fact of life to everyone you can not make a single system sound good at all times. Uh, there are one quadrillion different advice on uh, YouTube and elsewhere on what kind of power conditioning you can use. Uh, I can tell you guys that my mentor and I and my audio friends, we have tried during two decades hundreds of different uh, solutions and things to try out and there is not a single solution that works for every time so what i've noticed is that uh, basically the harder power conditioning you throw at a, a gear the basically what you can achieve is that it will you will prevent that really anemic sound but you will also prevent your gear sounding ever sounding phenomenal so that's why the best is uh, just be very very cautious with uh, the power conditioning you are using be very minimal and the only way to avoid this uh, line ac problem nightmare seems to be to have two different systems with different amplification different uh, components and uh, and hopefully they will respond differently to the line AC conditions. And uh, what you could do is if you have multiple systems, then try this out and just watch out for the line AC and, and try this that when you notice that your system suddenly sounds like crap, go and turn on your B system in your other room and see if that sounds better than it usually does or not. And um, so how can this be? Kintaro will answer it for you. You see, there's Kintaro and he will answer. So basically because uh, tube amplifiers, but not just tube amplifiers, transistor amplifiers as well, and every gear, every audio gear that we use, uses power transformers to convert electricity from the wall to useful electricity by the system and because the power transformers operate with different uh, phases so basically they use they have different uh, various degrees of uh, voltage conversion ratios 
different impedance ratios between primary and secondary coils because of the changes of uh, impedance from one unit to the next changes of the uh, phase difference that each transformer affects on the power that it draws from the wall because of that each power transformer will have a different optimal uh, point different optimal working condition for the phase angle of your electricity in the wall uh, so basically uh, the power factor which is optimal for two audio gears is going to be different so by using uh, different amplifiers different systems it is guaranteed that the different systems will work optimally at different power factor conditions so if power factor is something that fluctuates greatly in your living area then putting together two very different systems will be a very good uh, solution to combat those uh, power factor fluctuations so you can listen to one or the other systems and uh, uh, what what additional uh, consequence this has is that when you are a b testing comparing two different amplifiers or systems then you need to take into account that any given point one of the amplifiers will be performing optimally while the other will be performing suboptimally and depending on the line ac power factor they receive it will favor one or the other and that's why just a single a b listening session won't tell you which is a better amplifier or which is a better system but you have to live with both of them and regularly observe how they react to the power uh, and hear each of them at their high points when the when the voltage and power factor is optimal for them and also when the power factor is does not favor them and then you will have a much better reference of what your system can do for you so thank you for tuning in with this ultra special episode i hope that uh, you are still listening and if you do then you have gained some audio wisdom that uh, possibly you haven't had a chance to run across yet and which possibly will really impact heavily on the course of your audio development so please give a thumb up and uh, uh, let's support Kintaro in his valiant effort of uh, washing his hair this is how cats uh, wash hair you see that's how they clean their head so that they lick their paws and then they lick off uh, the stuff that's in their hair so that's it so now we are looking at wildlife happening in in the room there is another piece of wildlife for you much is already pow dead to the world not yet look at that there, there. Oh. Machi. Machi, machi. Kintaro. now he's he's also stretching so they they really love to mirror what the other is doing so say goodbye to machi and have an awesome day bye bye